an all out search tonight in San Jose as police look for a man who they say kidnapped a baby boy from an apartment. Today, someone is walking around with a three month old baby that they did not have yesterday, but we're doing everything we can right now to locate this baby. Police say the infant was taken as the child's grandmother was unloading groceries from her car. Good evening, everyone. I'm Heather Holmes and I'm Julie Hayner. Police say the baby was taken just before one o'clock this afternoon from an apartment on Elm Street. It's in a neighborhood just off of West Heading Street near Bellarmine College Prep and not far from Mineta San Jose Airport. This is a live picture from that neighborhood. Police continue to have it blocked off. They've been on the scene now for more than nine hours trying to piece together exactly what happened here. We go live now to KTU's Amber Lee. She is live at San Jose Police Headquarters where officials have been giving updates on this breaking news story. Heather, we received an update from police about 20 minutes ago. They say at this point they have no new information to share, but that officers are doing everything they can to find the baby. Police officers went to homes in San Jose's College Park neighborhood, just south of the airport Monday evening, in search of a three-month-old baby boy who they say was kidnapped. Police say Brandon Cuellar was taken around 1 o'clock Monday afternoon from the bedroom of his grandmother's apartment as she was unloading groceries from her car after a shopping trip. I'm surprised about that. This is um, so quiet and nice, uh, the place. It's a lot of families in this. Yes. Police say this is surveillance video of a man taking the baby away. He was being cared for by his grandmother while his mother was at work. Police tell us both women say they do not know the man who kidnapped the baby. Mom is here with us right now providing information. Uh, dad right now is out of the picture. Uh, he is incarcerated. Uh, I don't know, you know, whether or not that is going to play into this. The kidnapping suspect is described as being Latino with a dark complexion. The baby was wearing a onesie with dinosaurs. He was taken in a black carrier with a white blanket. We don't have a suspect vehicle yet. We don't have a license plate. That's why there hasn't been an Amber Alert activated or issued. Uh, the FBI is providing resources to us. They are sending members of their child abduction response team. Neighbors say there are thefts in the area, including car break-ins, but nothing like this. I've seen a lot of things go on here, but not a kidnapping. I need to pay, uh, pay attention on the, my kids because she likes to run outside and play outside. So now I need to pay attention more. Police say there is an unspecified cash reward in this case. They're asking for the public's help. Anyone with information can remain anonymous. Heather, yeah, Julie? at least they were able to get that surveillance video rather quickly and distribute it. Hopefully someone will come forward. Amber, thank you. And we do want to give you one more look at baby Brandon and his kidnapper. Again, the suspect is Latino with a dark complexion, wearing black pants, a dark blue shirt and gray shoes with white trim, short hair, a gray baseball hat, as well as he was wearing a black face mask. Now, baby Brandon is 14 pounds with light brown hair and brown eyes. Police have set up a hotline number to contact officers. It's right there on your screen or you can call 911.